Alrighty, well hello everyone and how are you guys doing? Tireless Gun here, back with another Tireless Talk. So, um, in the background here, I will be fighting Armadillo. And I'll be doing this live too, by the way. This isn't some pre-recorded, uh, me talking over some clip. I'm doing this live for you guys, because I'm hardcore, man. I am going to, uh, get them kills, fight them bosses, do those things live, because, you know what? I am just a badass. I am so good at this game no one can defeat me at all I mean Dardan came at me with a uh, full uh, Tetsu and uh, I just had a bronze pickaxe and I kicked his butt <laughs> I'm kidding I love Dardan and if that ever happened I would probably cry if he came at me with full Tetsu because he would have some sort of ability on his action bar that would be like hey auto death and I'd be like hey okay that's fine I, I, I agree with that Dardan <laughs> Oh, man. Ah, die, Armadillo. Hold on. I want to finish this kill. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to heal off you guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, Squeal of Fortune. Unts, 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 unts. Best drop ever. Anyway, guys, in this tireless talk, I'm going to be going over the behind the scenes that came out this month. Also, um... We're going to talk about the future of Flower Games, a post made by ModMark. Remember, if you want to read up on any of the topics that I'm talking about today, I will post them in the description below. Anyway, first off, the behind the scenes. But first, before that, let's see what this spin ticket... Oh, we can't even do that. Okay, here we go. We're going to take this, spin ticket, tear that. Then we're going to go get to where you spin ticket. Spin, here we go. Whoa, what are we going to get? Oh, we can get a huge XP lamp. What are we going to get? Oh, two uncut rubies? No. Okay. Ooh, we got 500 coins for that. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So, behind the scenes, March 2013. First, we got new combat abilities and upgrades, and this is going to be a free player and members update. So, uh, the big thing that they're doing, which they've already implemented already, if you've seen, is they have implemented uh, better combat damage for dual wielding, and they've also implemented dual casting for mage, meaning you're on your uh, forehand and offhand can be uh, different kinds of magic, so you can be shooting fire and earth at the same time. Can I do it from here? Let's see here. Uh, no, I cannot do it from here. But, uh, yeah, basically that's what they're going to be implementing or have implemented is um, the fact that uh, dual wielding was not comparable at all to uh, a two-handed weapon like the Chaotic Maul and dual Chaotic Longs. Like, there was no comparison. You would definitely go for the Maul all the time. If you're wearing a Chaotic Long, it's purely because you wanted to use a shield with it or something like that. Um, aside from that, you would just always go for the mall every single time. There was no reason to dual wield anything because the DPS was just not balanced out correctly. Um, of course, people do uh, dual wielding with dry gores purely because of the um, the uh, exponential scale. That dual wielding actually does have a significant uh, bonus to what you're doing in the game. So, yeah, they balance that out, so uh, if you're dual wielding something, it actually equals out correctly, and you're going to be dealing about the same amount of damage. Um, I haven't personally tested it out myself because I do not own any offhands or anything, but um, I will definitely try to get an offhand, or as soon as someone uh, like Smokey makes a video about it, I will definitely talk a little bit more. Um, but yeah, dual casting as well, I think that's a pretty cool thing. I don't think it's extremely needed. I'm, I don't know when having fire in one hand and earth in the other is going to be extremely useful unless you're doing some sort of a task where things are weak to different types of magic and you're in the same area. I'm not sure where that would be, but I'm fairly certain that there, there's something out there like that that uh, may need that implemented. But um, we will see. Nothing really there to affect me. But there are a whole new variety of uh, new combat abilities coming in, which I'm looking forward to. Let's see here. They're also adding four new basic combat abilities to host to the host of choices available to mages and rangers. So I'm looking forward to that as I'm ranging right now. It's actually, ranging is my favorite thing to do. Um, these are designed to give more choice ability rotation when blah, 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 blah. Uh, highlights include the ne ranger's needle strike and the mage's uh, concentrated blast, both of which raise your critical chance. Well, that's kind of all they go into for the basic abilities is um, just that one that raises critical. So that's pretty cool. You shoot something at your opponent and uh, your chance of a critical hit goes up. So 
looking forward to that. But it did say a uh, new thing of abilities to magic and uh, range, so it seems melee is not getting any, but I mean, I think they have enough. They have all these and all these, so I think they're pretty set on uh, abilities. So I'm glad they're finally boosting mage and... Uh, uh, range for a little bit. Yeah. All right. Next kill and next topic. We got the wilderness war bands. The w wilderness war bands is basically going to be a new thing in the wilderness where, ah, uh, God, I'm I'm trying to understand. It's like a mini game basically where there's NPCs and you're trying to steal a wand and ah, uh, oh, God, I'm do probably doing a terrible job trying to describe it at all because I really don't know what it's about. Um. All I know is you're trying to go against NPCs and there's a wand on the other side and you can either like be very stealthy and use your skills to get to the other side and steal this wand or you can like use brute force like uh, I'm trying to describe it a little bit better. You so you can either use skills, be stealthy and you don't even need any combat to get to the other side uh to steal this thing or you can just use brute force and get over there and uh, just annihilate everything in your path. I'm not necessarily sure how the game's going to be played out as um, there aren't a load of details. Come on, kill him. There aren't a load of details on it um, as to the game mechanics itself, but it says it's going to bring out a uh, new wand that's mid to low to mid-level range, basically, for people to use. I think it's at low to mid, right? Let me see. If I can't find it right away, forget it. Um, okay, it says mid to high level players are going to be able to use the wand. So um, we will see how that's going to be. So I'd say it'd be somewhere uh, like a Grafalic to Aram's wand in ability there. Um, and also you'll be able to grab yourself some summoning prayer. And if you can defeat generals, quote unquote general NPCs, you'll be able to get slayer experience. And also, if you raid the storage tents, you'll be able to get thieving, farming, construction, and mining experience. Ooh. So it looks like you'll be able to get some good experience from this. Um, well, I don't know if it's good or not, but it just says some experience. But playing a mini game and not actually having to do a skill is pretty fun. So uh, there's always that. So that is the Wilderness Warbands. I'm pretty sure we're going to get more uh, information on that soon. Or maybe I just described something really, really bad. So if I did, maybe you can reread it again. As I said, everything's in the description in case you want to go over it yourself. Um, next thing coming out is the Easter update. And it says Easter, but not as you know it. Every year, if you guys have been uh, part of RuneScape for a while, every time Easter comes around, it's some, like, fluffy bunny that comes around, and you're like, go find the eggs, <laughs> or some other <laughs> really, really weird thing like that. But um, they said they are going to go into a little bit more of an epic storyline um, this year when it comes to Easter. It's not all going to be about candy and bunnies and finding things or or, you know, the Easter Bunny versus Chaco, whatever. <laughs> I remember that. That was just, that was so weird. Um, so, it seems that uh, you'll get some good rewards, uh, costumes and emotes, and it will also be available to, the majority of the, the event will also be available to free players. So, I guess that's hinting at there is some content that is only accessible to members for this uh, event. So, we will have to see what that is all about. But yeah, there's only one paragraph total on this, so not much to talk about or expand on. So, I am going to skip over that right now. Uh, game changes to free players and members. Now this is going to be uh, a little bit of a big one. Uh, for free players, first and foremost, Birthrobe and Taverly are going to be part of the uh, free-to-play world now. Uh, beforehand, you would have a uh, free membership basically I think it was like two weeks you got you got two weeks free membership when you signed up that is no longer gonna be a thing by the way I wanna while, while I'm using this this is so awesome this gothics balance thing from uh, the new quest I am I love this new skill it's basically like using um, where is it uh, rejuvenate except you don't need a shield and I think it's a little bit better I don't know but it is so nice to have it heals you so much and it's got a pretty little butterfly yay <laughs> uh, okay sorry 
<laughs> so uh, Birthlob and Taberly are going to be part of the free game. So instead of getting a two-week membership, uh, they're just making that whole area um, a free-to-play area. So non-members will be able to uh, access that area from now on, but uh, they do not get all the members' subscriptions, so they won't be able to go into members' world. So all those bots you see promoting flower games and dicing and everything, those will not happen anymore purely because of this. They cannot come into the game free of charge and just come in and invade our members. They'll have to pay for membership if they want to advertise. And if you want to pay $5 a month to get something banned, that is your choice, man. You go ahead and do that if you want, but you know what? You're going to get caught. That hand's going to come down from the sky, and ooh, man, it is it is going to hurt. <laughs> Another few set of some game changes coming out are the member skills. Some of them are going to be accessible to free-to-play players, but they can only train them up to level 5. Now, I think that the reason for doing this is because they are not giving them the two-week membership. They still want them to have a taste of what some of the members' perks are, so they're going to allow them to train the skills to see if they like them. I'm assuming all the member skills that you can train are just uh, via Taverly by just staying in that area, farming, slight all sorts of things like that. Um, I'm assuming that's just when you stay in that area, you're, like, you're able to train the skills up. And if you like them, hey, come join the members, be part of us. And you also get 07 access, so come on and join the fun train. Um, they also are thinking of ways of changing the way agility is done. Or not agility, uh, run energy is done. If you can't see already, it's already like that. Uh, I run over here, and I'm already back at 100. So, I mean... Like, if you can't tell, the energy restoration and depletion is so much different. Look at that. Like, I run over here, it goes to 7, 8, 9, back at 100. So, basically, if you have high agility, you are never going to run out of run energy. You can run all over the place. <laughs> and resting, oh my gosh, resting and using music, uh, musicians, you gain your health, or not your health, you run energy back so fast it's not even funny. So yeah, that was a huge, huge update. Uh, they also need to implement something like that into 07 Scape because people who don't have teleports or cannot afford teleports, it is so, so hard to get around in that game. And uh, sometimes I kind of just stop playing 07 because I'm like, wait, I got to walk over there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pass for right now. I'm going to go uh, do something else for a bit. <laughs> Maybe walk in real life. <laughs> But yeah, we'll, we'll we'll wait and see if they have a uh, advancement to the energy system in 07 Scape or not soon. Um, another thing that they are going to be doing is they are going to be changing flower games. Now, this is a big one. Modmark made a post online not too long ago, and uh, as I said, this will be in the uh, description as well, talking about flower games and how we may want to get rid of them. Do we want to completely remove the com the uh, random chance? So when you plant the flower, is it going to be red, blue, all that? So basically, um, it's eliminated in general. Should we make it a bannable offense, player-to-player -player interactions and gambling? If someone says that they're hosting, can we right-click and report them for that? Is, is that a possible option for us? And my prayer just ran out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Better kill Armadillo fast. Go! Go, Tireless! Go! Oh, God, go! <laughs> I did it. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, sh like, sh should that be a, a reportable thing? Um, should there be a safe alternative that is run by NPCs that is going to be brought into the game to make gambling easier? Or uh, do nothing at all? Should we just keep the game the way it is? Is it fine that gambling is run by players? Like, how do we feel about it indefinitely? So, I guess it's a big topic. If you want to go and post your opinion, there's a thread down below. And, uh, yeah, you can log in and talk about it and uh, see what people have been suggesting. There's some good ideas in there. I think an NPC, personally, would be one of the uh, better things to do. Though, honestly, I hate gambling in general. It's really stupid. And it takes a lot out of the game because you're not supposed to be gambling. You're supposed to be fighting monsters to make your money, not have a lot of money, and then bet a lot of money, then win even more money. Like, you're not supposed to play the game like that. That's not an adventure. That's risk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, there definitely is, as they said, there is a kind of gameplay that people want to do that. They want high risk, high reward. Like, where else can you go and 
uh, possibly lose a party hat, but at the same time have a chance to get a party hat. You don't you don't have that anywhere else. So, as much as I don't like it, and as much as I kind of wish there was no gambling in the game whatsoever, like I wish there was legitimate gambling, like uh, people going one on one in the duel arena, full armor sets. Like here's my party hat, here's your party hat, and uh, let's see who literally is the better person <laughs> in this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, but um. I don't know. I, I think there should be an NPC, if anything, um, a device that uh, takes items or money or whatever and uh, basically safely handles it so the player doesn't have to worry about being scammed or any of that stuff. Um, what else do I think? I think there should be some sort of a money or an item sink because items are just flowing into the game and there's no way out of it. So I literally think that it should be some sort of sinkhole or a money sink in some way or form. That way it helps balance out the economy a bit. I'm not sure if any of you guys have noticed or been on the Grand Exchange lately, but a whip is under a 100k. It is in the 90ks. That's the last time I checked. The last time I checked it was like 93k. The first time in RuneScape history for an Abyssal Whip to ever drop below 100k. Now that is depressing. I bought my first whip for uh, 2 mil. Well, to be more precise, full Mystic and uh, 1.8 mil. But uh, <laughs> I bought it for so much money. And the fact that I'm seeing it go for 100k now is so disappointing. Um, it's just, I don't know. The game has changed so much in like so little time. Like whips in uh, 07 scape, I think, are like 13 mil right now. Like that's just crazy. But then again, there's only like 12 of them total in the game. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that economy balances out with that. But um, there needs to be money or an item sink in the game. And I think the introduction of an NPC, which kind of takes out money or uh, puts in items or takes out items, is the good alternative. But I don't know. We'll see. What are your guys' thoughts? Anyway, guys, um, that's going to wrap it up for this tireless talk here. Remember, if you have any idea or comment, uh, leave it below. If you have a topic for the next tireless talk, just leave it, and I will be sure to go over it. I always choose one from the comments. This time did not have a specific topic in any of the uh, comments from the last tireless talk, so I just whipped one up by myself. But uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in, and I'll catch you later.